Welcome to Dan's on the Street. I'm Dan. We're going to explore the world city by city as seen through Google Maps and Google Street View. I thought we could visit the Faroe Islands today. I don't know much about them. I had to look up just to see that it was part of Denmark. I didn't even realize that. The capital is Torsown. I hope I'm saying that right. I, I tried to look up the pronunciation. Torsown. I believe that's the capital. Small little city here, right in the right in the water. Um, tons of islands all around. Let's drop down and see uh, what we can find here. Plenty of street view. Oh, this is cute. We're on the street here, September 2016. Oh, selling some motorcycles here. This is very very cute. Very colorful. Look at all this red, yellow, green. Very bright and colorful. Nice day out here in September. I'm liking everything I see so far. Even these street lights, you know, got a good look to them. Let's see if we can move down this street. Or this street. Let's. Huh, that's not where I was planning on going. Look at this narrow little street. And these adorable homes. I mean, that's about as cute as they come. This is this is quite pretty in here. A lot of people, I feel like there's been a trend to visit Iceland recently. All my friends are visiting Iceland. And, um, well, I'd love to go there. I feel like people are overlooking the Faroe Islands here. Just a little further east. And a whole another world to explore here. And... Boy, I think there's going to be just plenty to look at. Tremendous culture, just and a variety of sights. Look at this. We can look out over the town. It's a small town, but an adorable one. Look at this steeple here. What is that? We'll definitely check that out. Tight roads here. Really cute little houses, though. Hmm. Kind of walled in. Oh, here, they're working on one here. Putting some new roofing on. Some new windows. Maybe it's just new construction. Doesn't quite look like it, though. Interesting. Looks like there's a scooter delivery guy here. He's kind of following us. <laughs> That'd be a fun way to get around town, I'm sure. Oh, is that the mail? It looks like the mailman. This is very pretty. I'm, I'm quite surprised. I had almost no expectations coming here. Um, and already I'm quite impressed. All right, so it's right in the water. Clearly some shipping happening here. Uh, I read on Wikipedia that it was founded in like the 10th century. So this is an old town. Uh, plenty of history. Probably some great old ruins. Look at this stone wall. How long has this been here? Hundreds of years, probably. Whoa! Okay, some ships. As you would expect. I mean, we're right in the water, but... Looks like a military ship, maybe, and then some sort of passenger ship, and then lots of little boats. This is super cute here, though. On the water. Looks like a great place to go for a walk. Uh, September. I, I imagine it's getting a little cold already. Um, jackets out. Peace sign. Right back at ya. Nice little Mercedes there. These boats are nice though. What a, what a good look to them. Oh, I'd love, love to go for a boat ride. This is fantastic. Torstown. Faroe Islands. Mm -mm -mm. I'm intrigued. From... Framskak? I don't know. Very hilly back up in here. Look how they have these benches up kind of on tiers. Looks like a great place to come uh, bring a sandwich. You know, watch the ships come in. Looks like there's a little lighthouse here in the distance. Let's see if we can get up there first. Alright, that's my destination. Get up to that cute little lighthouse. 
roundabouts. Everyone's got roundabouts. Um, but me, I feel like. Almost no roundabouts where I live. But everywhere I visit on Google Maps, almost everywhere, um, I swear, even in the US, I'll be like, ah, this place has roundabouts. Not me. Um, let's see if we can go up here. Oh, we're inching up. Bear with me, people. Bear with me. I'm trying to find this lighthouse. Oh, nice overlook here of the town. So colorful. I love people are choosing to just paint their homes fun bright colors, reds. I guess maybe back in there it's looking more just like white, but um, yeah, plenty of color. Look at this sky. I mean, wow. Oh boy, this is awesome. <clears throat> oh wow, so okay. Clearly, even from this kind of crummy image, you can tell there used to be a castle or fortification here. Wisconsin. This probably dates back to, uh, you know, I don't know, hundreds of years at a minimum. Can sort of make out the shape. It's all kind of grown over. And pretty great place to walk around, though. Looks like it's not really fenced off. You can just kind of move around, check things out. Uh, one more view from up here, if we can. Did I just drop on the same place? Forgive me. How about over here? Okay, slightly different view. Beautiful. Uh, I guess we're kind of on the far side. Looks like an old cannon maybe there, some sort of military equipment. There's that lighthouse. This is nice and crispy, sharp, very bright. Look at that view out here. Even with a poorly stitched photo, it's still very beautiful. Fantastic, okay. So that's kind of some of the coastline there. A little bit of it. Oh, I don't like that. All right, we'll keep up a little higher. Let's go down. <laughs> right over here. Again, pretty tight roads all kind of winding up these hills. If we can move up here a little bit. Some shops, maybe. Ooh, look at this dreary day we just fell into. I don't like that. Much better. Okay, so green and bright. Um, interesting. So very hilly. You gotta kind of climb up these hills out from the water. And I wonder if we can find that, there's that very unique looking rooftop. I, was it a church maybe? It's very a steeple shape. Um, I don't know if I can spot it from this angle. Maybe we'll, we'll run into it probably. This looks like a school kind of. YF Husi, I don't know. Don't know what that's about number of people out and about. There's sidewalks kind of all around. Uh, as tight and narrow as it all is. Um, plenty of space to get around, though. See a good number of cars out. I'm sure there's some, you know, we saw some scooters. Haven't seen a ton of biking here. Might just be kind of hilly for the biking crowd. Hotel Bolide, something like that. We could stay there. What a lot, what a lot to take in. This is just so pretty. Stockholm, nice, nice look to that place. Let's get up this hill. I feel like I'm crawling up these streets here. Is this a grocery store, maybe? Kinda looks like it. If it is, it's a really great looking grocery store. I love seeing back in here, some rocks and uh, oh, it's just all very rocky and old. Oh man, I love, I love a place with some serious history. 
but there's some fantastic old graveyards, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, endless discovery here. Some factories maybe down in here. Interesting. What do you think these circles here are? Are they... I don't know. Some, some, some sort of fishing situation? Might have to look that up. Let's drop back into... Well, let's go in this main street here just for a little bit. See if we can kind of go into town. Oh, is that a stadium there? I love just how it, all this grass is... Um, just the look of all of it looks oh, super appealing. Kind of reminds me of Scotland a little bit. It's one of the main kind of roads into town, it seems like. Is that that same grocery store there, maybe? All right, we'll scoot past that. Even that just, you know, for a simple building, something nice about it, right? Roundabout, adorable little stroller there. Classic sight. Hmm. Bet they get a lot of snow up here, right? They're pretty far north. Must get pretty frigid. Come January or whatever. Or a lot sooner, maybe. But, how yeah, you deal with it, right? Get a wood stove, maybe? Still a lot of people have nice trees in their yard. Bushes. Oh, look at that, like, obelisk over there. I keep seeing different, <laughs> distant, like, interesting things, and then I have trouble finding them. Let's see. That kind of looks like it, maybe. Oh, here it is. Boy, what a horribly stitched photograph. Sorry about that, people. Interesting. Some monument to something. What a great view of this town. Even the color of it is kind of washed out. This looks extremely inviting to me. I, I would definitely love to visit here. Maybe rent a rent a car and just kind of go all around. Because, um, I mean, the... Well, let's see, we're on one of the main islands here. So you can just drive all around this whole place. Um, and then take some boats around to the other islands, probably. Let's see here. Jacob Nolses. Uh, these are hard to read names. Jacob, probably. I don't know. Another gloriously bright day. Really cute homes. I mean, I don't know what the style of home you would call this. Sort of Nordic um, something, but... Uh, I'm a fan. I think we're near that thing. Oh my word, there it is. Okay, that is... I knew it was weird. I didn't realize it was this weird. Is this a church? Why is it not obvious? I can't, I can't tell. Alright, bear with me. Vester... Kirchstein. I think that's a church. Well, it's certainly got an interesting look as far as churches go. Really great. Whoever the architect was, you know, didn't phone it in here. This is truly unique. And really awesome look. I'd love to go inside there and just kind of see what those see what those rafters look like or whatever. <laughs> see what the inside looks like. If the outside is that interesting, you know they made sure the inside was cool. Little creek going through town here, and a bridge even. Guys, how cute is this? Really cute. Like this little room back here. A little sun sunroom or something. Here's a motorcycle. Cruising down. Alright, it's been enjoyable. 
Let's see, what else should we check out? Hmm, there's sort of this town south of the main area. I wonder if, if this is considered part of it. Let's drive down one of these streets just for fun. Kid out, going to school or something. Oh, a bunch of kids. <laughs> is that guy up like on the bus stop? Classic. Um, interesting color combo here. I mean, really nice place though. Look at the woodwork. Fantastic. All these homes are so appealing. They're, they're just really clean and sharp and um, I don't know. Again, colorful. And they've all kind of agreed that's something I don't really see where I live, is like, there's not a consensus on style. Like you, maybe there's, you know, there's a few styles that we kind of all, all the homes look like. You kind of can pick from 10 styles or something. But there's something interesting about a town that sort of limits itself to like one or two styles. It really creates a distinct um, shape to the whole area. Uh, I don't know which one I would prefer. I like diversity of homes, but I, there's something, you know, a place that really sticks to it and is like, nope, these are basically what our homes are going to look like. It makes it for a really unique experience visiting there. Very memorable, you know? And, uh, yeah, I got no problem with it. I, I'm a fan. Interesting. Look at the, this terrain is wild out in here. Oh, here again, these circles. What is that about? I don't know. Um, I just want to pop over here. Very cool. Man, look at this. This is wild terrain up here. Some stacked rocks. Is that cairn? Is that what they call that? Or is that something else? Some ships out here. Look at this view. What a wild sight. Looks like something out of a movie. And if you're like face, facing some of these angles, you could be on another planet almost. I mean, with vegetation, but like, I don't know. Pretty awesome. Love that they're allowing us to move around up here. Everyone's doing these little rock piles. At some point it becomes a little repetitive, but I'd participate in it, you know. Why not? Why not? Let's stack up some rocks. Um, that's very nice, though. Love that view. I, the the amount the hiking you could do here would just be st stunning. Um, endless hiking, fishing, boating. Um, yeah, all kinds of fun you could have here. Here's the stadium. See if we can pop in there because it just kind of looked interesting. Whoa! Oh, okay. I thought it was in the stadium for a second. It was very weird. I don't. I don't like this angle. All right, let's try another one. Uh, maybe these are from the stands. Let's hope. Hmm. Not so much. All right. Well, still interesting to see inside. Oh, clearly there's the field out there. Some sort of clubhouse here, whatever. Grab a drink and go watch the soccer game. Football. Look at this zigzag. What what is happening here? Why why was this map so zigzagged? <laughs> I don't know. Um Fantastic view again. Look at this sunset. Just or sunrise maybe. Um Stunning views over the town. There's hills all around, so like it, in in just minutes you could kind of get up and get a a view of things in a really nice way. What's going on up here? All right, developing some new properties maybe. This is the new part of town, I think. Maybe the homes kind of look newer. 
if that's possible. Um, yeah, I think these are newer, right? And clearly some kind of lots ready for development. Yeah, these, these feel like new developments all kind of up in here. So I guess people are moving here. Can't blame them. My goodness, this looks so livable. Um, I'd love to visit and seems like a dreamland to live in. Again, I, I'd worry about parts of the year maybe getting a little chilly and that might be an understatement, but what stunning terrain. And you're essentially in Denmark, so you get all the benefits of that, I think. <laughs> and you're so close to the rest of mainland Europe. Well, at least compared to the US, at least. Um, this is so pretty. So dang pretty. Loving this drive down the street. Love it. What is this going on here? Is this another... Is this just like the style of church? I don't think I'm familiar. Or is it the same architect just kind of crushing it here? Built the one and they got him to do another. Again, as far as churches go, that is super unique. And to me, and I love it. This light is blowing my mind here. Look at these old hills here. These kind of look like... I bet there was buildings on here at one point. Sort of look like old remains of places. Maybe it's just rocks, though. I could just drive into this setting sun for hours. Grassy rooftops. That's awesome. Good for insulation, I think. Clearly these are owned by the same people or something. You, know, you can kind of see it from there. It disappears into the landscape. That's what you want, right? I wonder what this little doodad is here. Can't quite see. Um, let's drop over here. Get another ocean view, hopefully. Fantastic. This, these rocks, the water. Um, man. And then whatever this island here has a really unique shape to it. Just stare out at that for hours also. Love to walk around these rocky, rocky ocean front here. This little path. Oh yeah, there's that little church. This looks like such a neat place to visit. I'm loving it. Torshound. Now, I've been told that there are parts of this island that they've actually mapped with uh, sheep. And I briefly looked, and I, I couldn't seem to find it, but... Um, no sheep here. I'll have to be directed to that later. Look at this. Wind power. Awesome. They're just, they're just crushing it up here. Um... Very interesting. I wonder if they have geothermal here too, probably. I know Iceland uses this, or makes use of that. Yeah, probably pretty windy though. Good place for that. So many cute towns around here too. I'm gonna have to, I'll be back, don't worry. This is, I, I had to stop somewhere first and I know so little, I figure, let's start at the capital and uh, we'll move out. One or two more places I'm going to have to call it a day here. This looks like a car ad. It's just so crisp. Interesting building here. I think it's just like a nice house. <clears throat> Again, almost everywhere I go here, I'm getting a great view down into town which I love. 
and the light, whoever recorded these, like, I don't know if it's just the time of year or something, but anytime people record Google Street View, like late in the day or something, when you get that kind of effect of a setting sun, look at this yard. Um, it's just super pretty, adds a lot of character, the glow. Digging it. So cute. Like, do they know if you live here, are you kind of aware how cute it is? <laughs> I don't know. Something, something about it to me is just, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. Everything about it's kind of nice. All right, maybe one more place. Um, kind of want to see some of this factory stuff, just out of curiosity. Kind of see where people are working. Whoa, that ship is like almost scary close, right? Uh, yeah, I can't end it on there. Um, what do you think this is? Oh, we're inside a boat. Or wait, are we in a boat? We are. That's a first. Street view tour inside a boat. Um, wow, so you can, yeah, clearly park your car here. And, oh man. I have some claustrophobia and that's kind of scaring me. <laughs> But um, that's pretty cool though. You can obviously, again, yeah, rent a car, drive all around this island, get in this line, get on the boat, and um, go see some more islands. How awesome is that? What a cool town. I, I, I almost have, sometimes I'm like, I wanna visit, and sometimes I see a town that I'm like, I have to visit that, right? Like that's just, I don't know. This is definitely gonna stick out to me. I'm gonna have to read up more on the Faroe Islands. I am woefully unread. And I'll be back. If you live in this area, let me know what I missed. Let me know what city I should check out next. Also, let me know where those sheep, I swear it. I was told there's sheep street views somewhere. <laughs> and I, I couldn't seem to spot them, but I'll be back and Please subscribe, tell your friends, check out some of my other videos. You can see on the map here where I've been. Um, Iceland, I'm gonna get there too, real soon, I promise. Um, all right, till next time.